Hi guys and welcome to the channel. So in today's video I've got another of the um, retro series of wrestling figures that have been coming out recently. Now this is a company I've um, yet to have got one from so I'm pleased to have picked it up. It is one of the figures I wanted to get. Now it is of the, the Zombie Sailor Toys um, Wrestling's Heels and Faces line. And I've managed to get Matt Cardona. Um, they are quite expensive to get here in the UK and to buy direct. Um, so I managed to get this off another collector who was, who was selling it for um, quite a nice price. So I was quite pleased to um, pick it up. Um, if I turn the back of the um, card round, you can see the other um, four, um, four characters from Series 1. So you've got Brian Myers, Dino Bravo, Sabu and Earl Hebner. As with all of these, I'm not planning on fully completing the um, the Heels and Faces line, but I will try and pick up characters I'm, I'm quite interested in. And to be honest, I don't think I'd, I'd mind getting all of them the, for the, the wrestlers from this class. I'm not too bothered about getting referee figures in my collection, but definitely wouldn't mind picking up the Brian Myers, Dean and Bravo and the Sabu. Now, there is also a Dan Housen that has been released, and I'm not sure if that's officially Series 2 or a bolt-on to Series 1. Um, but there is a few of him um, flying about on the market as well, so it might be that you see me pick him up. So I'll be a close up at the back of the card. So a very detailed card. So it's not like the black and white traditional um, Hasbro cards. You've got a lot of colour photos on there, um, but they has come with the usual cutout um, sort of collector bit for my card owner. So all in all, card you can't go wrong with it, and it does feel about similar quality. I've still got the Joey Knight from um, Epic Cello Toys that I got the other day card here and the cards both feel really really strong and again I've got the um, the Tony Norris from Grapplers and Gimmicks this card compared to them it does feel a little bit less strong as strong a quality as the um, heels and faces one but um, that's um, what I'd say about that the, uh, the Grapplers and Gimmicks card obviously looks a lot more traditional like the Hasbro's but we shall get um, Mr Matt Cardona out of his um, bubble and have a closer look at him yes I do open up all the figures so sorry, look away now, if you're a mint on cardist, this mat is going to breathe, as Mr. Cardona says himself. So here he is, um, Matt Cardona out of, um, out of the box. So he is in the sort of Gorilla Press sort of slam mould. Um, Obviously, these figures haven't got the actions, so they haven't got actual actions to them, so it's just you move the arms up and down, but they do fit in quite nicely alongside your retro, and um, swivel at the waist, and then just move them at the arms and the head. So they do fit in quite nicely with your retro and Hasbro display. Um, one thing I will say about this, the, um, the trunks, um, very, very well painted up with the um, always ready uh, Matt Cardona paintwork, I don't know if you can focus in on that. So really nice job done on the um, colourful trunks that Matt Cardona always wears. And then you've also got the um, skull and crossbones on one knee. And then, um, sorry, another Matt Cardona symbol, I think, on the other knee pads. So very colourful designed boots and knee pads and trunks. Um, then you've got the, obviously, you can definitely tell this is Matt Cardona as I um, hold him up close. You see the beard and the... Um, spiky hair on him now the quality does feel really really good on this figure i have brought the um retro zack rider down to um to compare it to so this is the mattel retro this is the um zombie zombie sailor and you can sort of tell that they've made um on the zombie sailor they've made the sort of um abs and chest area a lot more defined on the figures um in terms of head sculpt I would also hesitate to say that the Zombie Sailor does look a lot more like Matt Cardona, Zack Ryder than the um, Mattel Retro does. But it is nice to have him in um, both Retro and now Zombie Sailor um, forms. And they both will fit in and mix in with um, my Retro Wrestling Figure Collection. So Matt Cardona is going to sit with the, um, the Chellas, the Grapplers and Gimmicks, the um, sort of miscellaneous figures of this world. So I'll take him over and have a look um, and, well, and add him into the um, collection with the other figures. So join me over at the collection shelves. So there you can see Matt Cardona now added in to the, um, into the collection um, next to the um, Epic and Chiller Toys. I've got the Grapplers and Gimmicks at that end with the um, Ahmed Johnson. 
and they all do really blend in together well so it's nice that these smaller companies are starting to churn out some of these um vintage hasbro style figures um and i am starting to now i've completed the um, retro line starting to pick up one or two more than um i have had in the past so they are a bit more interest to me now i've um i've finished sort of my retro other than new ones being released so i will possibly be looking to pick up more of these however how much more i don't know would all pretty much depend on price some of them do command a hefty fee so i've got to sort of um navigate my way through um picking them up but i'll leave you with um this last image of matt cardona hanging out with joey knight and i think that'll be a good night out so guys, there you have it, um, Matt Cardona from Zombie Sailor Toys added into the collection. Let me know in the comments, um, have you picked up any of these um, retro wrestling figures? Um, which line have you um, gone down? Um, is there any that you like better than others? Um, I think the only ones I haven't got one from at the minute um, is the Rush Collectibles. I do know KWK is bringing out some figures, but at the minute there's no, no characters in that line that really do interest me to pick up. Um, the Rush Collectibles, again, not the characters that, that um, have, have interested me, but they haven't had the greatest sort of feedback from collectors as well about the quality of the figures. Um, so it is a line I may, I may dabble in. I don't know. We shall see. Um, but really happy to have started, um, as I say, some zombie, getting a zombie sailor in. Um, there are one or two more, like I said earlier in the video, I am going to be looking for. So hopefully keep an eye out on the channel and see which ones come through the door. Otherwise, um, that's it from me today. I'll see you in the next video. Um, thanks for watching. But if you do um, remember, please um, stick a subscription on the channel. I do appreciate every single one of you who does take the time to do so. Otherwise, that's it from me today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.